Hey, good evening, guys. I am Metaphysical Mike. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be such a beautiful shift and energetic flow moving into the next few weeks. Now, we got this full moon in Capricorn and lunar eclipse next week on the 16th and the 17th. And this is really going to bring us into a, a stronger flow of energy, a connection with our, our higher selves, with our, our angels, our spirits, and many of you are going to be seeing a lot of synchronistic experiences. For an example, I saw earlier today on Monarch Butterfly 3, there was actually, they were black and then it was had some blue spots. I saw three different butterflies and, you know, in 22 years, I've never seen, you know, three back-to-back -back butterflies. It's truly amazing and beautiful. I feel really good vibes and energy after we get through this powerful this illumination next week. Now, a lot of people on the planet have been clearing a lot of old energy. There was a lot of purging, especially from a lot of these, just these cosmic cycles. There's been a lot of purging, releasing, crying, and letting go. But I feel a big shift is really going to take place and we're going to see some glimpses. You may have already seen it a few days ago where there's going to be higher octaves, these timelines where we're going to have full access to of peace, of joy and contentment. And the fastest way to do this is through confronting our fears and through letting go because where energy goes, you know, attention flows. Wherever you're putting your attention is where energy is going to circulate. It's the law of attraction. It's a universal principle. And this is backed up by quantum physicists because everything is energy. We live in this infinite, infinite field of potential where it's like there's possibilities here and there. So if you feel like, you know, you're like, I don't understand what's happening. I'm going through this awakening. Sometimes I'm getting energetic downloads. Sometimes my childhood wounds, childhood wounds are coming up to the surface. Sometimes I'm seeing 11, 11 and I'm seeing it an obsessive amount of times that I, quite frankly, I have no idea what's happening. It's all part of this massive shift in consciousness and spiritual awakening you know we're all in this ride together and we have to really start collaborating and what do i mean by collaborating well for so long we've been run by control and by society and program to you know have this ego you know this like darker aspect this lower energy where it's like all about me but we're all connected we need to start working with each other to raise our vibrations not to exclude people or you know like cut people off because they're different than us but it's to accept other people for who they are and to send massive influxes of love and light through the people in your past from the people who have hurt you from maybe family members maybe certain friends who you know took advantage of you it's time to send them immense amount of love and light and it's not a time of really being afraid it's time of stepping into those wounds and clearing them and healing them doing the inner work and realizing that the inner journey eventually leads to this miraculous and expansive outer journey and once you start changing your inner world your outer reality is going to change and we have to just be more vulnerable and open our hearts because sometimes when we open our hearts it can be scary because we've been so program to you know not have emotions to cut ourselves away and out from the world but it's a time to be in your heart space to be in that divine flow that current it's there it's like an ocean you know you have the trough you have the crest it's an up wave and a down wave but it's all about this flow and that's what a lot of people are going to start feeling in the weeks to come especially late july Early to mid-August, we have Jupiter going direct, Mercury goes direct. We're going to have a lot of forward momentum, and I'm really excited. It's been, uh, you know, I'll say one heck of a journey with, you know, chaotic emotions and ups and downs and, you know, releasing and purging since about... You know, December and January when we had those other, other eclipses. And then, you know, I say the summer has been a really intense interval and period on the planet for the collective. It's been affecting a lot of us in our sleep pattern. A lot of us have been tired. A lot of us sometimes have these energy and vibrations. And I call them these cosmic waves, these downloads, these cosmic influxes of light come into our DNA, they affect our telomeres, and they also are from the Grand Central Sun, and all this energy is now being brought, so now we're ready to heal. It's a powerful time. This is the time right now on the planet to heal yourself, to let go of what was, to let go of the victim role, because life isn't happening to you, it's happening for you. You are seeing so many 
divine synchronistic experiences. So let go whatever emotions, let them come up and let that healing light, that goddess, goddess, blue aqua light move throughout your body and realize that this is a wonderful time to be part of this ascension. And I love you guys so much and I appreciate all your love, all your support, all your encouragement. And I wish you all nothing but the very best moving forward from this day and for, quite frankly, the rest of your life. May all you manifest the most magical, abundant. May your friends and family prosper and you just feel the love. May you feel just absolutely wonderful and feel like you're waking up every single day and you're living a fulfilling, a rewarding mission. I commend you as a light worker, as a beacon of light, and as this, you know, extension of source energy. So thank you guys for tuning in. And if you enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will speak with you soon. And I wish you a wonderful illumination. This is going to be such a wonderful time. Have a lovely evening.